is. For those of you who have never met me before, my name is Jesse Brizine, and it's an honor to share this time with you today. Today's story transports us back to Italy at a time, you know, in the past. And this story is about the, a small businessman who had taken out a loan from a well-known loan shark in the community. Hello, Sharon. I see you we'll log again. And it came time where the loan was well past due and the small businessman didn't have any money left to, didn't have any money to pay the shark back. But the shark fancied the businessman's daughter who was quite beautiful. And the shark made a proposition to the small business owner saying that I will take your daughter's hand in marriage and in so doing I'll forgive you of the loan. At which the businessman was quite disgusted by the offer but didn't know what to do because he was so in over his head that he never saw a way out unless he did this. On the day that the discussion arose, the daughter met with the loan shark. And the loan shark was walking through this garden with all these beautiful pebbles and flowers, at which time the loan shark said to the daughter, he said, here's my proposition. I will put in this bag two pebbles, one white, one black. If you pull out the black one, all your father's debt will be forgiven and then you'll have to marry me. If you pull out the white one, all your father's debt will be forgiven, and you will not have to marry me. At which time, the loan shark bent over and picked up two pebbles from the ground. But the daughter and her daughter noticed something. She noticed that the loan shark, in his crafty and slimy little way, grabbed only two black petals and two black pebbles, putting them in the bag. The daughter immediately thought she only had three choices. Choice number one is refuse to pull a pebble out of the bag. Choice number two is pull both pebbles out and expose the loan shark for the fraud he is. Or choice number three, pull the pebble out and unwillingly marry the loan shark, but her, da- her dad would be forgiven. The de- her dad's debt would be forgiven. The daughter loved her father, and so she made the choice that she thought would be the best as she reached into the bag and pulled out a pebble. As she pulled the pebble out, though, the daughter, very crafty she was, kept her hand closed and then quickly made like that she had dropped the pebble, at which point it disappeared into all the pebbles on the ground below. At which time then the daughter said to the loan shark, Oh no, I've dropped the pebble. But not to worry, because whatever pebble is left inside the bag... That will be the color of the one that I didn't grab. Now the daughter knew, of course, that there was two black pebbles in. And the loan shark, of course, he knew that he had put two black pebbles in. But he couldn't come away looking like a fraud or a phony. So he had to consent to the daughter that it must have been a white pebble she dropped. And thus the debt was forgiven. And the daughter did not have to marry the loan shark. The moral of the story for me was... Sometimes in life we think that we're limited by choices, that there is no choice or the choices are very limited. But if you're willing to think outside the box, there's always another way, there's always another choice. It's just up to you to be willing to step out of the limitations you perceive and step into the possibilities that you believe could be out there. Now I'd love for you to share your moral of the story. What's your moral of the story? Please leave it in the comments below. I'll come back and read them.